I, my question is, uh, I, I thought about it yesterday and my question, uh, I have a few more questions about it. So I, you want me to just set all the questions in one time? No, no. one by one, ask me questions and I will. Okay, uh, okay. Why, why it's important and not to blink when we're doing that track? Okay, so uh, what uh, is the, it is a conversation. I want to make a conversation. I will give answers, but with the conversation. Okay. So, uh, what do you think? Why it is important to, with uh, open eye to do thratak? What do you think? What is your answer for that? What do you, What is your idea? My idea is that it uh, maybe disturb the energy when I blink. So you have answer that uh, when we uh, blink our eyes uh, during Tratak, so uh, it disturbs our uh, flow of energy that we trying to make between two things. One is me, means my eyes, and second is the object. So when we try to make a bridge between them, and in between, if we blink the eyes, so it will disturb uh, the energy. Okay. So uh, it is important that when we uh, doing that, uh, we should not blink the eyes. One another thing is there that it is not only that you uh, locating, you uh, focusing on that object, you chanting. A specific mantra like Om or any mantra. So when you are practicing with the mantra and you close your eyes, so your sound system is also disturbed. Both things, both system are working, especially from the navel. Navel is the place of fire. So it works with the eyes. It gives energies to eyes. And the main system of sound, it actually it uh, starts from Muladhar, but we feel it from navel because the energy is active in the navel. So this energy creates more sound system. So uh, when uh, this sound moves up and uh, it is also focused on that object with the eyes, so uh, it is creating more energy. It is getting more energy also. But when we close the eyes, so both system, the tratak with the eyes and the sound, they both disturb. That's why it is important not to blink eyes during the practice of Tata. I hope you understand me. I understand. And is there a way or a technique to that you can uh, share with uh, with us that to 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 maintain the eyes open? So I know that when I close the eyes a little bit, I can I can take it longer. I can stay longer. No, uh, there is no technique to do or to share with you. The only thing is practice. You have to practice, you will get more uh, time. So without practice, it is not possible to get more time duration for the thrata. Okay. Start with the 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute. In beginning, do up to the five minutes only. If the tears are coming, let them come because they are cleaning the eyes. Tears doesn't mean that you are stressed or tired. Muscles tired, but muscles are getting strength also and clean also with the tears because all the uh, whatever the waste inside of the eyes that all are uh, moving out with the practice, with the efforts, because I already said it is not only that you observing, you are with energy. 
Okay. Fire system is working and fire is cleaning the things. Like it is cleaning everything in the navel. So it is cleaning everything in the eyes also. Okay. Okay. Yes. And uh, why it's important to open the eye uh, slowly in the end of each practice? Uh, you uh, did the practice of Jalandhar Bhan. Actually, I'm giving the example of Jalandhar Bhan because uh, that is immediately uh, you realize. So when you do this Jalandhar Bhan, And you will open eyes so immediately the pressure moves up and it works with the head. So it creates stress there. And to free from stress, I always say that when you do it is not only with the Jalandhar Bhadda, with all the practices. Because I said that it is not only practice that you're doing. You create energy and that energy is active moving everywhere in the body. So when you open immediately, you will feel or you will realize that energy is hitting somewhere. And if it will hit more with the more power, so it may create more problem, more stress and the some headache. That's why I will say that open eyes slowly. Okay? Yes. What else? Yes. What what happened to us? Uh, I asked you this before, but uh, you t uh, why can't we do a, a section of uh, why can't we do a few practices with our eye closed? Why we need to open the eyes every time that we do practice? It's because it's work on different uh, energy systems. Energy is the same, but the different part of the body is act. Different part of the like sometimes, suppose we are focusing on navel area. Navel area and the back of the navel, they are in same place, but they are different with the energy level. We are focusing on tip of the nose. So when we focus on tip of the nose and we focus on heart area, they are different. We focus mentally with close eyes on Triputi, center of eyebrows. It is different. So when we are practicing with the different places of the body, uh, we cannot work uh, together everything. And I already mentioned that uh, different practices create different type of energies. And uh, I already said that there must be a gap of bit, uh, 12 to 15 seconds between two practices to balance the energy. Usually it should be more. But uh, uh, because uh, uh, you are uh, practicing, you start practice. So I said that uh, it is important to uh, make a gap of few seconds between two practices to balance the uh, energy level that you create after the practice what else uh, if you can uh, if you can uh, share what happened when we open the eyes first thing in the morning is there a way to open the eyes first thing in the morning first what happened to us first thing in the morning when i wake up after a long night a night sleep what happened to the eyes? What if if there is a way for me to do it better, or should I do it slower? Oh, I wake up. Means first is that when I uh, wake up before I leave the bed, I turn left to create a power to create pure energy in me. Then I wake up and uh, what I'm doing that I'm sharing with you, okay? First thing that uh, I try to see my hands. What is uh, there? And uh, so this part of the hands, uh, when we I do, 
like me it is when you i will do say it will be like this when i am observing it so uh fingers and uh, uh so uh when i am uh uh first thing that i see the, the fingers and thumb and uh, ask to goddess of wealth ma lakshmi that ma please stay with me. second thing that uh, the hints are how we will get or how we will earn the money with the knowledge with the wisdom with the studies so the goddess of knowledge goddess of wisdom i pray to her that be with me every time it is very important that you should not leave me so i uh, ask help for her and then this part of the uh my hand both hands so i ask for uh it is our hindu god bhagwan shri krishna vasudev that uh, you give the it is uh, the god vasudev bhagwan vasudev is for vital energy so i must be with my energy with my power it is to give get strength to do my all the work all the duties with my purity because if i am in the shelter of bhagwan i will do everything good in my daily routine so it is first and then i do like this with uh, both hands and then i put on my eyes and uh, it is uh, like that and then another thing that i ask for my father to show me the right path and before i go to bed after means to the earth i touch this earth that you are like my mother so i should be good and i get good protection good things so these things i do and then i uh, move oh my god thank you yes thank you very much and uh, what happened what happened when i when i move my eyes when i close my eyes what happened when i i find myself during the practice moving my eyes to the triputi moving my eyes to the to my temples uh, although i try to stay Uh, uh in front i see that my eyes are moving is is the, the movement of the eye change is something in the practice actually when i close my eyes uh it is not night time it is not the that we are sleeping so i is try to observe i try to get something to see so uh, they try to move from which direction i should go there so if something with the energy something with the light sound so eyes are there if something happen some sounds are there ears are active ears inform everything to muladhar muladhar means the pingala with the sound system and this pingala is active it gives all the information to the sushumna but something moves to ida also idas are active with the uh, channels of eyes so a uh, sound also works to uh, get information to eyes and that is the main reason that i is trying to move in 
uh, any directions. But when we are practicing, which is very important, this eyes should not move. Eyes must be stuck or stay in one point where we are focusing. Like when we are focusing mentally on the triputi, so that should be like this. And when we trying to uh, look at the tip of the nose, so it should be with the one tenth open eyes. It must be uh, like this, and it should not move or blink. It is uh, important to do practice. Few things are very important. When you are doing practice, your sound, it must be balanced. Your body movement should be balanced. It should not move every time. Your eyes must be balanced. And when you are breathing, that breath is also important and it should be in rhythm. It should not imbalance. So when we are practicing like this, it is helpful and it is good to uh, get energy, to store energy also. It is like that. Okay. Thank you.